Well, today we're continuing this process and I am hooking up or running all the electric. The boxes, the 12-2 wire, grounds, all that good stuff. So I had to decide where I wanted those positioned and then I had to um, drill holes and run holes through the 2x6s uh, and all that good stuff.
it's right next to the So in the new bathroom, I have installed the drain for the washing machine and dryer, which will go over there. And we're going to cut into that water, hot and cold, and run it over here. we got to go get more parts. We hooked up the water for the new toilet place placement, and there's a hole right there, which I'm going to drill a three-inch hole for the toilet. And what I also did was hooked up the hot and cold for the new sink area. And I drilled a hole for the drain. We have to go get more parts. And until we get that, we're kind of stuck here. Underneath, I ran the drain for the washing machine. And I will be cutting off <clears throat> those two white pecs half inch pieces and hooking them up with a uh, shark bite to those pieces over there, hot and cold. So some of the insulation got done, not all of it. This new room has insulation in it, except for that middle bay has to be open because we're putting a fan in there. And it has to be open for uh, the inspection but I have gotten the outlets in you can see the outlets for the TV switch for the fan and a couple outlets on the bottom one there and one over on the other side so the framework is up we're just waiting for inspection I call this the ante room or the room that is it had two shelves in it two cabinets in it which I removed that bathroom, we're going to put the door swinging from this side, so it opens over here. It originally opened here, but there's an outlet back there. We want to give access to that outlet right there. I put a switch here. I'm going to install a light up there. That light is an LED light, and it only works with 12-gauge wire, and this is all 14-2 wire, so that won't work. So they uh, put insulation up, R19. They're putting some drywall up. And I have a cabinet. I think I've shown you the cabinet. That's going to go right here with a sink. And I'll find a nice light up there. And this is just a little powder room. So this is a nice, nice little room. This is the main bathroom. We have an electric heater in here. I've got one in my house, and it works great, so I figured that was fine. It's insulated, so uh, this is where that cabinet's going that I'm making. If you haven't seen that yet, that will be coming up soon. And um, I rerouted the lights. This light switch here activates that light up there. This light switch here activates... This here, I don't have a light yet, but it'll come out of that blue fixture. Now what we did was the washer dryer were here. We moved them over to the corner with a stackable and we hooked up the drain and we hooked up the hot and cold water, hooked it right into the supply for the, um, that comes out of the hot water. So they'll have instant hot water when they turn on their shower or their not their shower, but when they turn on their washing machine and the vent is there, it was always there. So he has put down plywood and I'm going to have to drill a hole here because the toilet will sit here. I was going to put the toilet over there, but uh, Virginia suggested not being the first thing you walk in and see. So we put the toilet here. It'll be about and this area here, kind of where his bag is. And he's going to finish leveling this all off, make it all flat. This used to be a porch, and it was uneven. It 
dropped over there, so we had him raise it up so it was all level. So that'll be nice. And he's also going to have to go underneath and add some more supports because I believe they're 24 on center, which is really far. Oh, uh, it's too far apart for the stability of the tile floor we're going to put in here. And we'll put the tile floor all the way over to here, too. And this will probably just get painted. This uh, closet slash laundry room. So this is the new, well, it's the, not new, but it's the revised bedroom. They've got all the drywall up. He's got a nice good size window over here where there's going to be enough room where we can put the uh, futon here, which also turns into a bed. It's got a nice little closet. It's the back end of the washing machine. This is the door. It's a nice 36 inch wide door for this room. And that door will go right where that ladder is, right there, and it'll open and swing against this wall. This is a switch for the fan. I got an outlet here. I got a TV outlet there, and I got another outlet there. So I think that should be sufficient. I'm running the electric up through here to service this room, and I'll probably do the same thing with the kitchen, which is going to be over there. Take two wires. Yep. This is for the oven we hooked up today. The orange one is for the dryer, and the rest of it's over there, but it's too dark to show. Maybe tomorrow. But it's coming along. This room, this wall got done. It's great. And we're just plugging along. I did a lot of electrical work today, but it's too dark to show you all of this, all of that up there, the fan stuff. So I was doing some testing and I thought maybe this old switch was screwed up. This is a new one. I just bought it. So 
Aha! I had hot on the last switch, but I didn't have hot here, so that was a problem. I tested the breaker that was over here, that is over here. That's the breaker for it. That's working. And I'm sure if I go up there and test that, which I will, once I get rid of the tools off the ladder, but it leads to over here, which voila, wonderful, and to this switch, which is hot. Turn on the switch to the light. It's hot. That's on a separate breaker over there. So I'm turning this switch off. Sorry, it's dark. But that line also goes into this bedroom. So, wonderful. I now have power. And as it turns out, it was the switch. So after a lot of praying and getting answers, I figured it out. So Victor and I are figuring out the fan and where it should go and how far away from the wall so it doesn't hit the ceiling or the, the ceiling on this side or the wall behind him. So we figured it's about 48 inches. He's just figuring out level and he's got to drop it three quarters of an inch for the tongue and groove ceiling. So that's what we are doing now. So do those brown boxes get secured in place so they don't slide back and forth? Uh-huh, yeah. Those, I, there's I right two screws under there? Uh-huh. Do we you want to find the center of the... Okay. Or yeah. you want to move this way? I want it centered in the room. Center. And I don't remember what she said, so yeah, let's tighten those guys down. Thank you. That's great. That's great for me, but I'm a little bit over five foot. Yeah, well, this is seven. That isn't on. Seven feet. That can't be on there, right? Because you don't want to look at that's the underside. That has to be on backwards, upside yeah. down. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, this when they switch them up. This right. Seven that's seven an feet. easy change. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Thank yeah. you. And it's twenty inches away from the wall. Let's spin it over here and make sure it still looks good. Yeah. Oh yeah, great, excellent.